Hi, I'm attachment specialist Adam Lane Smith, and today I want to talk to you about the secret formula for how to get a girlfriend in five easy steps. It's that easy. It's not as hard as people think it is. There's just certain pieces standing in people's way, and I'm going to show you how to clear those out. Let's jump right into it. Number one, the first step is optimize your body. Optimize your body. You don't need to be the ultra giga ched with 40 pack abs down to your knees. You don't have to be that guy. <laughs> optimize your body means discipline your body so that you have some fitness, so that you are not massively overweight, so that you have some muscle bulk, so that you look nice under the clothes. And then control the clothes that you put on top of that. Control those clothes by not shopping in the Walmart clearance section. Shop a little bit nicer. Go to JCPenney. Go to Kohl's. Go, you know, a little bit nicer. Get a couple nice outfits. Dress. Dress in a way that you would respect. Dress for power. Men dress for power and status. We dress to show what tribe we are part of and show a little bit of our personality and show our status within that tribe. That's pretty much how we dress. If you dress like a four-year-old child, not good. Optimize what you have. You don't have to be ultimate. You don't have to be a bodybuilder. Optimize what you've got so that you at least say, look, I'm aware of social pieces. I'm at least financially well off enough that I don't have to shop at the thrift store. Not that the thrift store is not horrible or evil, but I'm at least financially well off where I could shop at a nicer shop. And I've put some care into my appearance. I discipline my body so I don't just lay around all day and do nothing. I'm, I'm taking care of myself. I've got a good haircut. I, I, I grew my, I, I at least take care of myself. You don't have to be perfect, but be optimized. Be optimized. And speaking of optimization, number two is optimize your mind. Optimize your mind also, because the body only gets you so far with women. They are not looking for that. There they're, they're, they're are gorgeous men, gorgeous men that women will walk up to, talk to for 30 seconds, make a disgusted face, and walk away. Like this most gorgeous man on earth. And they will walk away, because they're just healthy women will just say, nah. He's all appearance and nothing under that. Yeah. It happens, believe it or not. Optimize your mind. It means a couple of things. I mean, number one, I'm an attachment specialist, so fix your attachment so you're not crushingly insecure, so you're able to have good conversations, so you're not emotionally dysregulated all the time. Give, build emotional discipline. I've built, I, I, I've done numerous things on this channel for building emotional discipline. That's really attractive to women. Build your emotional discipline so that your mental world is as optimized as your outer world. Internal and outer. Inner and outer. Optimize. Optimize those two pieces. And then you won't be a liability. <laughs> you won't be unattractive. You will be attractive in both areas. Reasonably attractive in body and mind is really all you have to shoot for. You will then be better than 90% of men. If you optimize your inner and outer, you will be better than 90% of men in the meat market right now. Just optimize. Optimize what you've got. Because if you optimize what you have, you will do number three. Optimize your value. Because now you are reliable. If you solve your attachment problems, you have principles. You have goals. You work on an internal code instead of doing what everyone around you wants you to do and giving in to them. You are reliable. You're predictable. You can put value into communities. You can put value into relationships. You are trustworthy. And you look the part, too. People can put you out somewhere and not be ashamed to be your friend. They can hire you and not be ashamed that you're representing the company. I remember when I was 18, I got a job uh, in a sales department. And I had long hair that I never trimmed, so it was nasty and full of split ends. And I thought I was the, the king. I thought I was Adonis at 18 with his long, flowing hair. And my sales manager said, Adam, we can't put you on the sales floor because you look bad. <laughs> you will not look great for this company. I went, huh? What does that have to do with it? What does my appearance have to do with selling? Everything. You don't want to buy a used car from a dude who's not wearing a shirt. <laughs> right? You don't want to buy a used car from a dude who's not wearing pants. You don't want to take marriage advice from a guy who doesn't wear pants. I am wearing pants, by the way. I'm wearing jeans, acid wash jeans, just so you know. I do wear pants during these videos. I know you can't see below. I wear pants. 
This is why. Because you don't want to take marriage advice from a dude who's not wearing pants. How you look matters. How you look matters. How you act matters. Because when you optimize your mind, you are optimizing your behaviors. Your behaviors flow from your mind. All of that will optimize your value. People will start to take you seriously. They'll want to get value. They'll value your time. They'll want to be around you. And then when you do step number four, connecting to a better network, you will bring value into that network and people will want you to be a part of their network and they'll want you to stay around. So they're going to start introducing you to people. The better network will start introducing you to people in their life. Because they will say, hey, I really like this guy. I have a really nice sister who would work really well for him and we'd be married and stay together forever. They'd be married. We, that's really what they're saying. We'd be married and we'll stay together forever. He'll just be marrying her. Then we'll be together. We'll be bros. This is how military alliances formed, by the way. But this is how it works. Is, hey, you are cool. You are awesome. I would love to invite you home to meet my quiet sister who doesn't go to bars who doesn't run out being crazy, who doesn't have bad attachment issues, so she just stays at home with our family, but she doesn't get out much, so she hasn't really had a boyfriend before. I would love for you, because I trust you and you have great value, I'd love for you to meet her. That'd be great. My granddaughter, my niece, my cousin, you know, hey. And you connect to that better network and you let it be known. Hey, I am looking for somebody. I'm looking for a girlfriend. I'd love to have a girlfriend. When you have high value, you are returning high value to the people around you. You are outputting high value. And you say, I would love to have a girlfriend. They all say, I'll work on that right now. <laughs> then they do. Because when you provide value for other people, they want to provide value in return. This is not about trying to buy a girlfriend. This is about showing the network you have value and that they can trust you with that nice, kind, caring girlfriend, that, that daughter, that grandniece, that cousin at home, they can trust you not to harm her. This is the easiest way to get a really good, loving girlfriend. Optimize your body, optimize your mind, increase your value, join a better network or a wider network where there's more people in it, and then let it be known that you want a girlfriend. And step number five, learn motivational interviewing. I might have put this, probably put, should have put this earlier, but it's not going to help you if you do all of these things and have no social skills and can't hold a conversation because they'll say, hey, you should meet my, my, my sister. You should meet my cousin. She's so nice. You guys would get along great. And you go, oh, hi. I like cats. <laughs> it's not going to work. Motivational interviewing is the best way to get on somebody's good side, build relationships, get somebody interested in you, start talking, keep a conversation going, Show that you have social value. It really ties back into showing your value and boosting your value and optimizing your value. And it shows your network that you also care. Learn motivational interviewing. So optimize your body. Optimize your mind. Optimize your value that you output. Connect to a better network. And learn motivational interviewing so that you can connect to everyone in that network. And eventually, when they connect you, when they match make for you, People who value you will not match make you to the town drunk. They will match you to somebody that is actually worthwhile because they want you to be happy and to provide good value. And they want that person to be happy too. And then you have good social skills with motivational interviewing. Those five pieces. If you do these five pieces, you will get a girlfriend. You will get a great girlfriend. People will throw their female relatives at you. And they'll, you'll say, uh, hi. And she'll say, Hi, are we supposed to be here? And you say, I don't know, let's talk about this. You start motivational interviewing, you just have a good time. You say, tell me about yourself. Where are you from? Are you from here? How do you like this place? Oh, it's okay. Yeah, what do you like about it? Is it all right? What do you do? What do you do for fun? Is it crap? It's that easy. It is not hard to have a girlfriend. This would put you above 99% of other men in the meat market. When you look at the, on, on the networks, on, on the dating websites where women gravitate toward 10% of men, they're really just their female attraction metrics cannot be measured with dating websites of how they attract to strangers. That's just women saying, well, I guess like 10% of the men are like super hot. Like, that's cool. Yeah, 10% of men on this network on like a resume are cool. Women don't really date based on resume. Women date based on their gut instinct when they meet you. 
a physical attraction is a part of that. It opens the door a little and it can give you a little more wiggle room, but the gut instinct is there. Women date on gut. So optimize. And I mean legitimately, like improve yourself. Do all of these things and you will be happier. And that will attract a woman who goes to the best version of you, not to who you're faking. And she'll go to somebody who is good and happy and, and enjoy. That's how you attract those women in the first place. You may not even have to join the network and say, hey, find me a girlfriend. They might find you and say, dude, you've really stepped up your game. It's amazing. I had put you in the friend zone before. I had discounted you before. I hadn't really noticed you before, but woof. This is how you get women woofing at you. <laughs> this is how you get the cat calls from the women. This is how you do it. Optimize your body. Optimize your mind. Connect to a better network. Optimize your value. Give value out to that network. Let it be known that you are interested. And then learn motivational interviewing so that you can actually network and talk to people and have a decent conversation. All of this, it would be hard not to get a girlfriend if you do these five steps. <laughs> this would be really hard not to. Now, I have a ton more tips. I have a whole course on how to get a girlfriend. I have all kinds of steps on how to navigate this. I check the link below for my How to Get a Girlfriend course. It's a couple hours of video. The first part is a big slideshow of me showing detailed pieces, and you can take notes that you can use the slideshow as notes. And then I've got bonus videos of me talking through all kinds of troubleshooting pieces. How to Get a Girlfriend. I have a whole course on this. Check the, the video description. But... These five steps right here will at least get you pointed in the right direction. Go out and do these. And leave me a comment while you're at it. Hey, Adam, these are cool. Women, leave me a comment. Encourage these men. Please, women, encourage these men. Yes, these five things would make you better than 99% of men. Please do these five things. Men, leave me a comment. Hey, all no, this sounds like crap. Women don't want this. Hey, I never thought about this before. If it works, if you go out and get a girlfriend. I teach people this and they do. I've had guys say, hey, hey man, I just got married. <laughs> yeah, I took, your video, I took your video course on how to get a girlfriend and I just got married. That's awesome. How you doing? It's incredible. That happens. Leave me a comment for that. Like, subscribe, connect to this channel, get the channel boosted, share this with your bros. If you, if you have somebody, if you have a young man who is single, send him this video. This is better advice than be yourself. If a young man says, hey, I'm really lonely. I could get a girl. I could really use a girlfriend. If you know a young man in your life, send him this video and say, hey, this advice actually was working. This advice actually sounds good. Guys don't really know what to do nowadays. This is how. This is how. Do this and leave me a comment if it works. Thank you.